we learned in the previous tutorial how to create a dynamic chart and switch the source data by using a drop list. We did that by using an XLOOKUP function and also by using the classic index and match function. You can watch that tutorial by clicking on the link below this video. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I'll show you an amazing functionality that will bring the drop list into the chart title itself instead of having it in a separate cell. Your chart will be a lot more impressive. So let's see how we do that in Excel. Here is my start file. You can download the exercise file and follow along by clicking on the link below this video. In the first part of this project, we created a dynamic chart that enables me to switch from a drop list and when I select a different option from the drop list, my column chart updates and the title updates as well. I want to take my project to a whole different horizon. And instead of having the drop list outside the chart, I want to delete this drop list and use the chart title as a drop list instead. Here is an example. So if I click on the chart title, the chart title by itself is a drop list and everything is dynamic. Now here is my project. I'm going to move my chart to the side so that I can see the data preparation table and I would like to delete this drop list and I want to create the drop list in the top row of the data preparation table. So instead of having a reference to this drop list, I'm going to delete this drop list completely by selecting cell B9 and I'm going to click on the down arrow of the clear command to the right side of the home tab and I'll be selecting clear all. And of course, because this drop list was feeding cell G9, then all my functions fail. That's not a problem because I'll be selecting cell G9 and don't worry about the chart which disappeared and I'll be creating my drop list in cell G9. I can either go to the data tab and click on data validation or use the shortcut LDL tab L tab. And then I want to click and drag to select the different months for the new drop list. When I hit OK, everything will be restored when I make a selection from the new drop list. Let's hit OK and let's select any option. Let's say I'm selecting February. Everything is working now fine. I would like to name this cell having this drop list and I can name it anything. So I'm selecting the cell and then I click in the name box and I'll be typing any name. I'll be typing my name, Nabil. When I hit enter, I would have named this cell. So if I click outside, and then go to the down arrow of the drop list and select my name. Now the cell is highlighted. What's the importance of doing this? Let me show you. So I'm going to move my chart and position it on top of the data preparation table. Now I don't see the drop list. In order to see the down arrow of the drop list, I need to go to the name box and select my name and that will reveal the drop list. Let me position the chart so that the chart title appear just to the left side of the drop list and now I'll be creating a very simple macro. This macro will have one single role. It will be selecting cell G9. To create a macro, I need to have the developer tab on the ribbon. If you don't have the developer tab, then you can right click on any tab of the ribbon and select customize the ribbon. Alternatively, you can click on the file tab and click on options and then click on customize the ribbon. In the Excel options dialog box, make sure you check developer. I'm not going to do that because I already have it, so I hit OK. When I click on the developer tab, to the left side, I have a code group. So all what I need to do is to make sure that use relative reference is not highlighted and that I start recording my macro. I click on record macro and I want to give a name to that macro. I'm going to type amazing and when I hit OK, I will be in the process of recording. All what I need to do, this macro will be selecting a cell. I click on the down arrow of the name box, select Nabil, and the down arrow of the drop list pops up inside the chart. Now I need to stop the recording. Now that I stop the recording, I'm going to attach that macro to the chart itself. So I click on the outer frame of the chart to select the entire chart and then right click and from the right click menu I'll be selecting assign macro. 
what's the name of the macro? It's the amazing macro, and then I hit OK, and I'm done. Now let's enjoy our project. When I click on the chart, look at the mouse pointer, it looks like a pointing finger. It will trigger the macro that will select the cell which has the drop list and automatically I see the down pointing arrow as if my drop list is in the chart title. Making a different selection changes the title and automatically changes my column chart. If you enjoyed this training video, Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel to be notified when new tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thank you for watching and see you next time.